Hi guys, and welcome to HowMachineWorks.com. Today, let's learn how a centrifugal pump actually works with the help of this animation. So, let's identify all the components initially, then we'll see the animation and understand its detail working. So, let's identify the components. Uh, that's the suction strainer at the bottom, where the water has been sucked in by removing the impurities or the foreign materials. Then, that's the foot valve. There we have the sump where the water is stored. Then, that's the suction pipe over there. Then that's the suction flange. We have the vacuum gauge over here. Then comes the pump casing. Then we have the eye of the impeller, the center of the impeller. And that's the impeller over there in blue. Then we have the delivery flange. We have the pressure gauge. Then the delivery valve and the delivery pipe over there. So finally the water reaches the overhead tank which is over there and that's finally the discharge level. So now let's see how it exactly works with the animation. Water enters through the suction strainer and it strains away the foreign materials and the impurities, the dust particles, etc. And it goes into the valve, the foot valve. The foot valve opens up when the pressure rises and the water goes to the suction line. So like this and you can see the gauge moving. There's a vacuum gauge. If this vacuum pressure is shown or the vacuum gauge, right and then the water reaches the impeller now let's zoom it and see how it enters the impeller the eye end of the impeller is at the center so it enters to the eye end then it goes to the uh, impellers so you can see the veins of the impellers shown over there so the water enters the veins of the impeller like this and it's distributed towards the casing and that's how it travels the initial travel happens so you can see all the the diameter or the distance uh, between the impeller and the casing is much less initially and as it further moves uh, the diameter increases or the distance increases so this is called as volute casing and the significance of the casing is that when there is uh, less area or distance between the impeller and the casing what happens is that the velocity of the water flow will be higher and as uh, it moves further the velocity decreases and the pressure increases as the area increases thereby so at the end you can see here we have maximum area of distance between the impeller and the casing so the velocity decreases or they very much and the pressure increases and a high pressure delivery is occurred you can see now uh, or there the impeller is rotating and the water enters the impeller as it rotates and it moves outside to the delivery you can see the pressure is increasing all there as the delivery happens and that's the pressure gauge over there which is showing that and the delivery happens towards the tank the head tank so that's simply how a centrifugal pump works i believe you understand the working of it and for more technical video updates please click the subscribe button so that updates come to you visit our website howmachineworks.com for more details and such videos click the like button or do drop a comment to motivate our team which will enable us to upload more videos thanks for watching this video have a great day